All right, so what we've got here is uh, an old Celestron 14. This particular model is uh, it's a 1983 version. I just weighed it. It is uh, it weighs 53 pounds, 53 and change. It's a it's a beast. And what we're going to do is we're going to convert it over to a carbon fiber tube, and then we're going to switch it to Hyperstar. This scope was previously used on a Lost Mandy Titan mount, so it's got uh, the Lost Mandy bars on it. So that's the first thing we're going to do is take those off. There's one on the top and there is one on the bottom. To remove those, all we're going to do is take out the Allen screws on each end. Yeah, I know it's a little dusty. This thing's uh, been parked for a while. So we'll take these screws out and we'll get these bars off. So with the bar off, all we have are the tube mounts on there, which I'm going to re remain, uh, those are going to remain in place for now because I don't have tube rings yet, which are really needed when you have a carbon fiber tube. But for now, uh, we're going to use this in this uh, configuration. Uh, we'll put the bars back on when we're done uh, so that I can test it out on the mount. Okay, now both of the Lost Mandy adapter plates have been removed. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, remove the orange uh, aluminum optical tube. Uh, but before we do that, we want to make some marks on the uh, other pieces, the back plate and the front plate, so that when we put it back together, we get it back in the proper orientation, which is going to be relatively important. So the next thing we're going to do is take off the corrector plate. But what we want to do is mark it such that it goes back into the same orientation as it was uh, when it came from the factory. So you can see the tube is sitting here. Yeah, it is dirty. Not as bad as it looks, but it's been used out in the field quite a bit. It needs to be cleaned, which I will do. But I did make a mark down here. And so I will make a very small mark using the Sharpie on the corrector plate up here so that I know how to get it back into the proper orientation. So now we're going to remove the actual corrector plate and you can see there are screws around the periphery of the retainer plate. Those are just tight enough to hold the corrector plate in place. You don't want them socked down tight because you'll stress the glass. It's just enough to hold it in place. So we're going to remove those now. All of the screws have been removed and set aside. And now we're going to very carefully lift this ring up and out of here. And got a little mark on it right there. And the corresponding mark on the lens is right down there, which I'm going to mark it again on the edge when I t take this out. So I've got the corrector plate out, and you can see a very small mark there. I'm going to transfer that to the edge of the glass using the Sharpie. So here we show the uh, two components that I got from Starizona. Starizona, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but because I have an older C14, uh, there is a, a special adapter that's needed. This piece here, which uh, allows the uh, main corrector lens to go on, or you can use your secondary mirror. So we're gonna install that onto this corrector plate. And then after we're done with that, we'll, uh, we'll connect up the actual uh, adapter. And with the corrector plate out, you can see down into the primary mirror. So here is the corrector plate. Obviously, you want to be very careful with this thing, uh, but a very important piece of glass. When you order one of these, you have uh, instructions that are on a QR code. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull those up. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, I have an older C14, so there is an adapter needed to make the corrector plate compatible. That is uh, this device, and I actually went and printed out the instructions for that, installing this device onto the corrector plate. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So one of the things uh, they're asking you to do, uh, I'm doing it slightly differently, because uh, I'm actually doing the tube conversion over to uh, carbon fiber but I've already removed the uh, corrector plate retaining ring uh, as we did earlier, and you can, you can see it's sitting there. 
So we have effectively completed that step. Okay, and the next step is to make some uh, index marks on the uh, corrector plate with uh, respect to the uh, secondary mirror holder. So over here we've already made a mark, and of course it drove it's blocking it, but I made it right on the edge of the glass. And we're going to do something similar with this, the original corrector plate uh, mirror, secondary mirror holder. So we'll go ahead and do that. And next they have you remove the corrector plate, which I've already done. And I uh, have the telescope in a secure position over here with the dust cap on it to prevent any uh, anything from happening in there. So then the next thing is we're going to remove the secondary mirror housing uh, per the instructions here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, turns out that removing this thing was is actually being extremely difficult. I had to make up the special jig to hold the uh, secondary mir mirror holder while I unscrew this piece. Uh, I don't know if they put some kind of Loctite in there, but it is no easy task. But not surprised because usually when I bring hydraulic cylinders to uh, get rebuilt, the person that does it says it's the most difficult one they've ever had to do. So this fits right in with uh, what typically goes on in this family. But this appears to be working, so I will get this thing loose. But hopefully if you have to do one, it won't be as difficult. But this was an unbelievable bear requiring a special jig to get this thing loose. Okay, finally got this thing off, but man, that was no easy thing. And I, there are uh, telltale signs of some kind of locking compound stuck in there, which probably contributed to the difficulty. Of course, the camera won't focus. Uh, I actually had to put some uh, lubricant down in there to help loosen up the threads, because uh, that thing was on. And over here at the jig, you can see the corrector plate. And now I can actually proceed to the next step. Okay, I'm now at the step where basically I'm going to take the adapter, uh, the baffle plate from the uh, new kit, the kit that converts an older C14, and I placed it like this. There's a gray gasket in between there, and the corrector plate is now sitting on top of it. Okay, the next step is to install the secondary holder so you notice there is a notch right there and what you got to do is take this and there's my dot uh, basically line those up just going to set it in there and then once i put the phone down i'll get an exact alignment so that it's approximately right there so after that basically going to flip the whole thing over and then tighten down the baffle plate. I'm actually doing this slightly differently. I basically put the notch down there and it's lined up with my mark out there and got the little gray gasket in there and then we can take this piece and screw it on to there until it's secure. So on there, threads are very fine, so I'm just going to get it on there, and then I'll, I'll snug it up. Notice here, they say it should be nice and tight, so I'll make sure it's good and snug. Okay, that's all tightened up, as tight as I can go by hand. I'm not going to put it in the jig and uh, crank it down. So that step is now done. So here is the uh, original secondary mirror holder and the next step is going to be to transfer that over to this device. This will allow you to swap out this adapter uh, for in case if you want to use the scope visually. So here is the uh, secondary mirror holder which I have not swapped it out yet but the way it's going to work is you can see there's a little notch there and there's a hex head uh, threaded screw in there and you're going to basically go in there and they drop right in and then there's a cover plate that goes over it well it turns out that on my unit the screw that originally hold the secondary in the head's a little too big to 
fit in there so I'm gonna have to machine that out a little bit I'll just drill it on the drill press uh, that way I can get the uh, screw in there otherwise I I can't put the secondary mirror in and which is absolutely critical to have that after thinking about it I think it's going to be easier and safer for me I'll just take this screw and grind the head down a little bit so that it fits properly in there yeah grinding the head down was definitely a better choice than trying to machine that out because there's not much if you make a mistake then then you really messed it up so grinding the head down in my case worked fine so that fits in there so now I've got the secondary mirror and I've lined it up there's that notch there with the mark I made earlier and I'm going to secure this somewhat not all the way because we want to be able to have some adjustment room for the collimation screws so that's in and uh, you can see there's there's some play in it which you want because when you uh, you got to have some slop in there in order to collimate so that screw is at a good spot so right now I'm just going to temporarily put the collimation screws in further and uh, then we'll adjust them out in the field later on okay so we got the secondary mirror assembly all set for now so we're going to set that aside when you do want to use the secondary mirror uh, you notice the notch over here and you've got where the hell's the camera you got the screw there so you're basically going to line those up and just kind of drop it in there and then you would thread on this piece to hold it secure but right now we got other work to do so we're going to set this aside all right so we're going as far as we're going to go right now with the uh, hyperstar but now we're going to uh, change this tube out so uh, it will be carbon fiber and i've got the one over here from public missiles which i probably got four or five years ago uh, with the intention of eventually modifying this scope and i'm finally getting to do that so we'll go ahead and uh, prepare this next step so one word of caution when you're taking some of these screws out this one here it's hard to see but there's a metal bracket there so you don't want the tube standing up on end when you take it out because that if that stuff falls down and lands on the primary mirror back there it's not going to be good for it the rest of them are just uh thread it in with nuts but the same thing you want to make sure you got your hands on them so when they uh, come out uh, you're not dropping hardware down into the mirror so we're going to do this operation with the optical tube laying down on this older C14 this uh, plate here is actually threaded as well as there was a nut on it so I, the newer ones may be different I don't know this is an older version so just something to be aware of okay all the screws now have been removed and i marked that top piece and also the back piece uh, shouldn't really matter which way they go but just to keep it the same i'm going to uh, use this method so now i'm going to attempt to take that front gray ring off of the main tube okay that actually slid off of there rather easily so that's what it's looking like with the uh ring removed the only thing i'm not a fan of when they manufactured this they got these holes awfully close to the edge would have been a lot better to uh, have moved those in substantially but it should be okay it's lasted all these years so looking down the tube um, if i can get in here it's gonna be hard to see you can see the other hardware that we're gonna have to remove to get the main tube off I'm probably gonna gonna have to get a nut driver down on there to hold those so what I'm gonna do is rack the mirror all the way back as far as it'll go so it'll give me room okay at this point got all the screws removed all the way around the tube it does help if you have long arms or possibly even a second person because it's it's quite a distance to reach all the way down in there and then uh, at the same time have a screwdriver out here so Two people would be better for this operation, but it is manageable by one. And that optical tube came off pretty straightforwardly, so that is good. And this is what the uh, rear cell 
Looks like the tube off. So next we're going to prepare the carbon fiber tube replacement and get ready to install that, which is kind of going to be the reverse of what we just did. Got the tube out of its wrapping. Looks pretty sharp and should help the performance of this thing for uh, photography to minimize uh, focal length shift with temperature variations, which can be quite significant if you've done astrophotography, you certainly know about it. So as far as installing this, uh, we're just going to line up the holes, kind of like we did uh, when we took it out. So we'll match up the patterns and we'll have to uh, then put the hardware back in. Hardware is now secure. So the end of the tube that holds the mirror is now secure to the carbon fiber replacement tube. So now we're going to go ahead and do the front plate. Front section of the tube is now secure. Hardware is all in place. And for the most part, carbon fiber tube is installed. So now we're going to go back to installing the corrector plate. So getting ready to uh, put the corrector plate back in. Remember the mark that was made on the edge of the tube. And that notch, which was previously lined up with a mark on the edge that you can hardly see, but it's there. So that's important. Keep everything uh, in the same reference as it was when you took it apart. Okay, corrector plate has just been placed in there and just sitting there by its own weight. So the next step will be to put the uh, retainer ring on. So we're going to place that in there uh, and then we'll uh, secure it with the screws. But again, just very slight pressure, just enough to hold the plate from moving. You don't want to crank down on these things. So the corrector plate is back installed. And so as far as uh, installing the adapter for the older C14, so that it'll work with the Hyperstar, pretty much that is done.